Hello guys and welcome back to the Beard Guys. My name's Ben, you might know me in game as Don Tomo and today we're doing a little commentary on one of the brand new Chinese tanks. Just the tier 4, it's the uh, M5A1 Stuart uh, light tank. Walked in here, just uh, changing our volume up from when I was live streaming. Um, yeah, so this is this is the tier four. Um, you have to go up. There's just a single tree you can go up until you get to. I believe it's tier five or tier six. You can split it off and pick whether you want to go uh, for a sort of medium line or a heavy line up to tier ten. Um, so this is one you have to do to get to um, to get to that kind of level. But this is just from the first day it came out, and we were just having a bit of fun. Platooned up with um, with a friend of mine, Dave here, Captain Accident. And these kind of tier 4 battles, they're never really very tactical. Um, it's normally a bit chaotic. This one's probably one of the more um, tactical battles that kind of plays out a little bit like a normal battle. Um, I've gone to a spot that is a pretty, pretty popular spot for light tanks on Pacific Island. It's not a map I like very much. Um, this spot can be pretty good for, um, for light tanks because you can spot people off there pretty well, get behind this rock. Unless you're in a bit of a chunky light tank, you might not be able to fit behind that rock too well. And um, and your only vulnerability really, apart from um, eating unlucky shots, is see that, that light tank across there. That other Stuart that just got unspotted. He's the only danger really at the moment, because if he gets up on that hill, then he can get shots down on me when I'm behind that rock. Um, but in doing so, he'll expose himself to the rest of my team. So it's um, yeah, it's a pretty pretty powerful spot if you play it well. If you manage to poke out and um, and get your spots away without getting hit. So I mean, the, the Stuarts are pretty pretty average tank. It's okay. Um, it was probably my favourite of the um, the first five tiers that we played. This is it fully upgraded with the the forty seven millimeter gun. Um, which is okay. It does the job. It's pretty maneuverable. It's basically the same as the um, as the American M5 Stuart, really, just with um, different gun choices. And it's also the first tank on the tech tree to um, for China to to be a pure scout. So you have scout matchmaking. Um, so you will see up to up to tier seven games. There we go, we get some damage off and set him on fire. But you can see this this spot's working really well. I'm just poking out, keep respotting them, taking the occasional snapshot. I don't want to risk getting hit, so um, I just took the snapshot and um, clutched it and got lucky and, uh, and set the guy on fire as well. So fortunately, um, they were trying to push up on me a little bit here, but that heavy's come up and is helping out a bit. Try and take a shot on the, um, the Stuart there, but, but no dice doesn't quite work out. We can see we're, our team's doing pretty well, and um, and now that these two guys are pushing on past me, it kind of negates the the effect of effectiveness of me staying in that spot. So I'm not really going to be able to spot anyone new um, that they're not going to see. So I think, okay, I'll go in here and try um try maybe some flanking shots. Try one on the KV-1, but it just hits his tracks. And now that that gun's going to struggle to to pen the um the KV-1 unless I hit a really good weak spot or maybe in the rear. It's only got. 81 mil of um, of penetration. We get a nice little shot on um, on the fellow Stuart there. Not so lucky there. Just missed that one. Nearly shoot my teammate's gun, but someone else does it for me, and that's just fine. Some people get annoyed when teammates kill people they're about to kill. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, that's just that's just the game, really. It's about doing damage, not killing people. So. Um, so as long as I'm getting damage off, I'm happy, you know. So we move in now. We've obviously um, we've got this round one. So I'm just going to see if I can um, try and use that maneuverability to my advantage. Try and swing around. Try and get some flanking shots. See bouncing on the side of the KV-1 there. The shot in the rear went in pretty nicely. And there I just get lazy and I think, okay, I'm not going to aim at the back of the KV-1. I'll just uh, I'll just shoot at this poorly armoured G Nu next to him. And um and it works out just fine because um because we're just swarming all over him now. Yeah, 
this is pretty nice matchmaking for this tank. Um, even against tier 5s, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. If you're in a tier 7 game in this tank, you, you feel pretty hard done by that. Scout matchmaking is um, does feel a little harsh with the... It's a very inadequate gun for a tier 7 game. And then even your view range, your spotting range is not really going to be um, very competitive in that sort of that sort of tier game. But you've just got to suck it up. Thankfully, it's a low tier tank. And if you don't want to, you don't have to play it for very long. Now this was really fun. Just bullying this poor guy in the Churchill. <laughs> getting around behind him. Bounce a shot there. As soon as he turns his gun to me, I just kept trying to get behind his gun. And you can sort of see the... You can feel sympathy for him as you see him sort of turning his turret chasing me. Then gives up, tries to shoot someone else. Then I poke out and shoot him. And it's just that kind of... Um, when you're just getting mobbed by tanks and then no option is the right option. You're just going to get killed no matter what. China Unleashed, double XP. There we go, 1100 damage, 176 spawning, 1000 XP. Pretty pleased with that in um, for a tier 4 tank. 1000 damage is pretty decent. It's not an amazing round, but um, I just wanted to kind of throw up a, a decent round in one of the new Chinese tanks up on the channel for you guys to have a little look at. I'm on to the uh, tier 5 tank now, so I'm going to go and record some rounds of that and hopefully get some up soon. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, why not check out some others on the channel or tell your mates and all that stuff. Click like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Nice one. I've been Ben. We're the Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.